Hi everyone, it's Enchanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to be picking cards to see what your person is currently thinking and feeling about you in this no contact situation. Okay, so this is for those of you guys that are no contact or very little contact, you know, maybe you want more contact with them, or something like that. So um, yeah, we are going to be just seeing what, you know, messages they have to relay to you, kind of just doing an energy check-in on the person on your mind. So here we have four pals in front of you. We have pal one with the carnelian. We have um, pile two with the rose quartz. We have pile three with the emerald and we have pile four with the onyx. Um, thank you. Someone told me how to like actually pronounce that. I do hope I'm saying that right. So yeah, um, I do want to let you know that this is just a general reading for the collective. So if you do want a more in-depth reading that caters to your personal questions, be sure to check out the description box below where I offer video readings. Um, the other thing that I want to put out there is, you know, just gratitude. Thank you so much, everyone that watches my videos, comments, likes, subscribes. It really does mean so much to me. If you do find value on my videos, um, be sure to comment, you know, like and subscribe with pretty much everything that I just said so that, it, you know, um, other people can hear it too, because the whole point of this is to just send energetic, empowering messages that, you know, genuinely help people that may need it. Um, so yeah, I'm, once again, I'm so grateful for you all. Just thank you so much for even just watching my videos. So yeah, um, with that out of the way, now go ahead and take a second to pause the video and meditate upon the different, you know, piles and pick a pile that you are the most energetically drawn to. You can pick based on the crystals, based on the angel numbers and the timestamps below. It's really up to you. Just pick a pile that, you know, just stands out to you the most and we will see you in your respective pile. Hi, pile one. You all picked the carnelian. So I just um, wanted to quickly go over the properties of carnelian with you. I made it a thing to do that in the actual reading rather than the intro so that, you know, people don't pick based on the properties because, you know, sometimes whenever we see rose quartz, like people just pick that because, you know, it is a love reading. But um, anyways, I did want to tell you what this means. Carnelian is really good for restoring vitality and motivation. It's also good for stimulating creativity. Um, it promotes positive life choices you know, and just motivates you for success. It's also useful for like, you know, gaining courage to get over something. So yeah, um, I, I just wanted to put that out there. So, you know, if any of these stand out to you, I definitely do recommend maybe, you know, getting carnelian, you know, putting it under your pillow, charging it. Um, it'll definitely help you in those areas of life. So yeah, I just love giving like advice about, you know, to the person watching this, like, even though it is a love reading, like, why should we not get like, you know, holistic messages from the reading? So yeah, let's go ahead and um, start the reading. We're going to go ahead and shuffle the cards to see what this person is currently thinking and feeling what they wish they could you know say to you during this no contact situation wow okay we got the emperor very strong start we got the hangman okay we're getting aries and pisces energy so far maybe someone could have that in their sun moon rising venus or seventh house if you have some love relationships um we also got the lovers gemini oh my gosh okay we, we got three major arcana cards here very interesting we also got the page of cups and it's Okay, like a love message coming in. I really do feel like this person has so much that they want to get off their chest. And we got the five of wands. Okay, so let's go ahead and decipher the spread. See what is going on with your person. So yeah, with the emperor, okay, your person, um, you know, really is focused on establishing themselves. Okay, the emperor is associated with Aries, which is associated with the ascendant, you know, your rising sign, how people view you. So already off the bat, I'm seeing that your person really cares about how you view them, how society views them in general. So for a lot of you guys, maybe they did have to retreat to kind of like work on themselves in that sense a little bit, um, work on like just establishing themselves, maybe with like people around them. Um, I'm also seeing, you know, something to do with work, like, you know, the emperor like rules over a kingdom and, you know, uh, that translated into like tarot was like you know kind of like um focusing on like you know material success yeah um with the hangman I do feel like your person is kind of like stuck in something okay so if they haven't reached out to you it doesn't have anything to do with their feelings for you because I am seeing they have major feelings for you with the lovers card pile one okay this cannot be any more obvious that they do care about you the lovers this is is associated with Gemini which is associated with twin that's why you know this could be a twin flame connection um but yeah with this hangman you know they're really um working on getting out of whatever it is that isn't 
serving them okay they are kind of tied up in something like literally look at the lock on his shoes like um they have also been um like yeah gaining mental clarity on getting out of whatever this is okay like i'm seeing maybe it has something to do with work or like just their material life in general maybe they're not getting the recognition that they need or like they're not really in like a job that truly satisfies them or like they've been trying to like you know change jobs or like change careers or maybe even like majors or like line of work or like they're they're just not really satisfied with where they are in life right now okay and that's why they're really working on themselves they're working on establishing themselves before they can come um forward okay because with this hangman like you know I, I feel like this person you know feels very deeply for you for sure because this is associated with pisces so again maybe someone could be a pisces or have that in their chart somewhere big three or seventh house but they don't want to like be a burden to you that's something that i'm really seeing okay i do feel like this person is pretty independent and they don't like you know um what do you call like not not opening up but maybe they don't really like imposing their burdens onto other people especially you because they know that that would like really mess up this relationship i even feel like maybe in the past they kind of did do that like you know maybe they were like really stressed out and like you know you weren't really there for them you are a very supportive kind caring person but i just feel like this person like kind of deals with things themselves like they're really independent in that sense and i also feel like maybe you are as well okay like you are also very independent i feel like for a lot of you guys you have gotten through hard times like by yourself okay like yes you could have reached out to friends and family but at the end of the day like you know even with this carnelian that totally makes sense this is all about like having the courage to get over like you know um anything that doesn't serve you or like having the courage to um you know just like yeah just deal with things on your own like this is again this is all about vitality and motivation and also creativity uh, you are very like you know like out there you know fun loving peaceful joyous prosperous like you know people like you know people love being around you because like you know you just are like thriving you're growing you're prospering you have a lot of like you know great things going on for you i do feel like you are um someone who also really cares about their work their job establishing yourselves in society and you know your person was really inspired by you okay like they're they like want to be like you they want whatever you have i just feel like your person's really motivated by your drive passion um ambition like you know just zeal for life i just feel like a lot of you guys are very like you know you're full of vitality okay like this is all about like um just like gearing yourself up for success and also just like you know um being cheerful being like you know really fun to be around i just feel like you embody great energy and something that your person really really loves about you okay and they may have even fell in love with this is your personality it's like who you are it's the energy that you radiate you know your good vibes and they are forever grateful for you know everything that you've done for them i even feel like in this with this hanged man you guys could have helped them get out of a situation or like maybe you kind of helped them get through some funk that they were in which i do see they're still in right now and they realize that they kind of have to retreat to do that themselves you know kind of like um focus on just healing growth you know just um like as much as they do you know like they could have opened up to about whatever it is that they were doing maybe even opened up to friends and family at the end of the day it's you who was you know responsible for your like you know um like whatever like problems like getting over them okay like healing from them like not like responsible as i'm like you are the problem no no i'm not trying to say that at all but like you know um this is just about like overcoming any sort of obstacles and i do feel like your person is in the process of doing that yeah but with this pisces energy here you know pisces in general feel feel things very deeply so regardless of whether or not someone is a pisces they feel very deeply for you and they're not over you at all okay i always say this in my readings every time like pisces and cancer cards come up but Pisces kind of never get over their exes, okay? Like, they have a really hard time getting over them. And with this lover's card, okay, like, they love you so, so much. And, like, you know, that that's one of the reasons they're not over you because, you know, their love for you is so strong and it keeps growing, it keeps growing. Like, look at the way that the flames are just, like, you know, um, like, lifting off into the atmosphere. It's like, they'll always carry a flame for you. They, they'll they always care for you. Um, You know, I'm even seeing something about eternity. For whatever reason, I channel, like, infinity, eternity. Maybe, like, eight could be, like, number. I don't know. Did we even get eight here? No. But, like, we got four, twelve, six. Yeah. But, um, you know, with this uh, 
lover's card i do feel like you know this could be a twin flame connection you definitely have met in like a past life or you are meant to meet in every life i feel like you guys do have some sort of like soul contract that like you know where you meet in every lifetime to kind of like you know help one another get through something or show them more about themselves yeah um I, this person just feels very deeply for you okay they've loved you for a lifetime so if you feel their energy quite a bit if you even feel yourself thinking about them that's because they're thinking about you and you know you are energetically connected okay you are definitely connected in the spiritual realm in like you know other dimensions like with this hanged man again it's associated with pisces and pisces is known to be like the planet of like you know dreams and like different dimensions like the unseen the unknown so i feel like you definitely are already connected in the 5d or like maybe like another universe or something like that and it's like you know for a lot of you guys they really want to connect with you in the 3d they really want this to manifest but it's like no matter what ends up happening you know um they <laughs> like they'll always feel you you'll always be in their heart you know you'll always have a special place in their heart and that's something that like you know no one can ever take like no one can ever fill up that space that you do yeah it's reserved just for you okay that kind of rhymed <laughs> maybe someone's like a poet or likes writing or is like kind of an artiste if you will or something like that or yeah i just feel like there's so much that they really want to express to you okay we got the page of cups the page of cups is you know it's all about a love message okay the pages are messengers of the tarot deck or of tarot and cups have to do with like emotions and feelings so i really do feel like they want to give you a message about their deeper feelings and emotions for you okay like even with the hanged man like you know in some other decks like i'm using the everyday witch tarot deck i really like this but in some other decks it's like you know the hanged man is like about to like dip into the water and like the water is super deep and it, the hanged man's crown chakra is lit up which means that you know their feelings for you go very very deep and you know the crown chakra is all about just spirituality and divinity so that's why i do feel like you know you are connected and other realms i do feel like this person has definitely been dreaming about you and yeah i feel like oh my gosh I, this has definitely come up in some piles but i don't know if you guys know this but you have the ability to literally show up in people's dreams okay i just feel like you know you sometimes like, just by thinking about people like you end up like appearing in their dreams and like i just feel like you know this person they think about you so much already okay like whenever you dream you know you dream about things that you've been thinking about right things that are in your subconscious so they've been thinking about you quite a lot they really do um they have you in their mind and in their heart which is so beautiful like okay there's a lot of love here and something that they really wish they could tell you is just how much you mean to them and just what you you know the significance of this connection to them like how important this connection was is and will always be to them okay this person really needed to like meet you for you know maybe their own self-growth and development i even feel like maybe you got a lot out of this connection in terms of your own like you know um spiritual journey spiritual development things like that you know maybe this person more than you kind of like you know um needed someone as amazing as you you know needed someone with like this just this like beautiful positive energy as you to sort of you know make them see things clear like you know gain mental clarity about just a lot of different things in their life i just feel like you've helped them in so many ways like you know you've helped them in ways that you don't even know okay that they can't even like express because they themselves can't fathom the intensity of this connection and your impact on them like that's how deep this connection is okay like literally with the lover's card the hangman oh my gosh like it, it just goes so deep like you know with the hangman this has to do with like 12th house energy and 12th house is a pretty intense house again it has to do with like the unseen the unknown mystical um things like you know different realm different dimensions and just you know all that jazz so yeah and again i feel like maybe someone could be like an artist or like someone is a little bit artsy i feel like maybe you guys could be artsy or like they appreciated the artsy side of you or maybe someone bought out the artsy side of someone because like you know this person is like literally painting and i even feel like maybe this person wants to express something to you in like a very poetic or artsy way like maybe this person has done that okay i do feel like this person has like told you about like how they felt about you but there's just so much more that they want to get off their chest i even feel like maybe someone could be like a writer or like a blogger like someone really like like likes expressing themselves in um you know kind of like 
this could even be like you know private blog for whatever reason I channel like a private tumblr blog or something like that but like I, I do feel like this person feels so much more deeper than they let on or like they kind of are even just like romantics at heart believe it or not yeah um and like with this five of wands again like I just feel like they're dealing with a lot of like discord and kind of like just like strife in their life like you know like look at all these people like you know the witches here are like literally arguing I even feel like you know um maybe if you guys had some sort of arguments or some sort of like you know just like confusion like you know discord like you know that that basically just means like um anything like negative like they want to like get over that like i i just feel like you know with all these like positive cards here like they just want to move past that like they don't even think about this too much i feel like it is kind of on their mind sometimes like you know things that went down that may not have benefited this relationship but in the end their feelings for you prevail okay like they definitely do focus more on the positive and the goods and the negatives um of this connection and um i also just feel like they have kind of a lot going on in their life like maybe with other people i am seeing something about like you know um yeah just like even with not receiving like enough recognition or not being where they want to be in life right now like maybe they just don't feel like qualified enough to be in your life right now but they are getting out of the situation like i feel like you know these two cards there could be some sort of like strife at work like you know maybe they're dealing with like annoying clients or something like that or like you know um just they kind of have more to do to like you know just like more work to do to get to where they really want to be i even feel like maybe this person feels like they're a little bit behind in life or something like that but like you know again the carnelian is all about like promoting positive life choices so again i just feel like you know you guys are such a great impact on them you brought about a lot of positivity into their life and like you even inspired them to make like you know good choices like positive choices um and you know again like they just see you as like someone who's very motivating okay i really do feel like a lot of you guys um have so much to you like you know how to pave the path to your own success you're very abundant you're very hard working like they draw so much inspiration from you so yeah that's really beautiful let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards um so this is from the numinous deck okay i really love these oracle cards um you'll see how much bigger these cards are than these okay these are literally this is like literally the minute mini tarot deck that's why it looks so tiny but um interesting yeah we got square so challenge yeah i do feel like um they are getting over like you know challenges again like they have like realized that like okay you know maybe i'm not fulfilled maybe this isn't really like where i want to be and like you know they've finally realized that and like they're doing something about it and like that's really good okay um this literally says like um stall so i do feel like they were kind of stalling on something like you know holding back on doing something and like you know they really needed this time apart to kind of just focus on themselves you know get their life in order they were a little bit frustrated with where they were and like you know just maybe things going on at work or something to do with their material life but we definitely got reconciled okay they really do want to reconcile with you they really do care so much about like being in your life and i just feel like you know you were like that one like person that they could just like come home to at the end of the day and just like you know feel really like good around okay like you just embody like good vibes positivity peacefulness like i do feel like this person could have opened up to you about certain things that they were going through and they're forever grateful for everything that you did for them and you know they genuinely like see you as like maybe you know even someone that they can have something very long term with they see you as like their rock like you were very supportive of them and but then they realize like you know even though i do have like this amazing person like i kind of need to deal with this by myself okay like and then I do feel like they are going to come forward, you know, for a lot of you and maybe even give you a message, maybe even during these seasons. I'm seeing something about Gemini season, Pisces season, Aries season from whenever you're watching this because this is a timeless reading. Um, but maybe like something to do with the summer, like, you know, um, the summer months, maybe like starting with Gemini season. Yeah. Um, we also got Saturn wisdom. Yeah. This person thinks you're really wise. OK, like you are well beyond your years. Um, I also feel like a lot of you guys are very like you know, um, disciplined and structured, like, you know, or maybe more than you even know, okay, but I just feel like you are very experienced, very even, like, woke, I guess, like, you know, spiritually woke, yeah, but you're also very grounding, you're also very practical, you're very mature, and that's something that they really loved about you, and I even feel like subconsciously, um, you know, they were attracted to you, because, like, they kind of, like, maybe weren't really that mature, maybe not as mature as you, and, like, you know, sometimes, like, our energy attracts people, you know, that might be, a little bit on a higher vibrational feel to maybe like help us with something like i i just feel like the angels bought this person to you because you know they the angels realize that this person kind of needs someone to like you know motivate them and like you know um 
you know, show them so much more about themselves. And like, they're so gratefully, they're so eternally grateful to their spirit guides that they met someone like you. And I'm also seeing that, you know, maybe if this person like, you know, kind of siphoned off your energy, maybe was a little bit of an energy vampire, which I could see for some of you guys, you know, that was your angels, like maybe trying to teach you a lesson about boundaries or something like that. But I just feel like, you know, both of you have kind of learned your karmic lesson. I'm not saying this is necessarily a karmic relationship, but like, you know, and like, you've learned so much about yourselves from this connection, like there's still so much love. So there definitely is a potentiality of making this work. I just feel like this person has helped you like, maybe establish boundaries and you help this person to see so much about themselves and their own potential um yeah maybe like I feel like you guys kind of carried this connection on your back a little bit more you know the thing about twin flame connections is that like you know you kind of sign a contract and then every life it's like one twin is maybe doing a little bit more energetic work maybe a little farther in their sp spiritual journey and since you are two halves of the same soul you expanding spiritually could help the other person you know also lift up spiritually vibrationally things like that so yeah I do feel like this person has so much um to say to you they really are grateful to you so yeah let's go ahead and pick a couple cards from the romance oracle deck um we got keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations yeah i feel like maybe this person wasn't really like your type or something like that or vice versa but like you ended up um really liking each other anyway you ended up really falling for one another yeah um uh, I even feel like maybe this could have been like a slow burning love like maybe for a lot of you guys you didn't even really like them that much in the beginning but like you ended up really liking them yeah I'm even seeing like Capricorn energy yeah we're getting like Aries Pisces Gemini Capricorn energy so someone in this connection could be that but if not don't worry too much but you know again I always say it's more about the attributes of the signs rather than actual signs themselves but if that does resonate this could be confirmation that this is your reading yeah we also got let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally yeah I definitely do feel like you know with all this like twin flame like messages we're getting here like leave this to divine time okay this really is meant to work out spirit wants this to work out um your angel guides their angel guides I feel like are having like a conversation together at like a dinner table or something like you know trying to figure the situation out like you know just leave it to the 5d leave it to the universe because it really does have your back i also feel like now is the time for you to start like you know trusting you know your spirit guide and like don't be afraid to ask for help okay so yeah that is what we got for you pal one i really hope that this reading helped i really hope that this reading resonated if not you can of course go ahead and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings that cater to your personal questions so if you do want some personal questions answered about your specific situation be sure to check that out the link to signing up for that is in the description box as well as the comment below so um yeah uh thank you so much once again i really do appreciate all of you for being here see you next time love and light hi pal two welcome to your reading so you all pick this beautiful rose quartz so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what they're currently thinking and feeling about you during this no contact situation you know things that um they really want to get off their chest what they wish you know you knew so yeah um in case you missed the intro i do want to just express gratitude to all of you for being here you know if you do find value out of these videos please be sure to like comment subscribe it means so much to me that i'm uplifting even just one person and you know it'd be really great if these videos could reach more people you know so that they um also hear like energetic empowering messages um because you know some people definitely could use that and yeah i just it would mean so much it already means so much to me that you guys even spend time like watching these videos like i cannot express my gratitude enough okay like that's why i'm i've had this for a while but i do also have a free reading giveaway so if you are interested in that be sure to check out the description box below um the link to signing up for that is there so yeah um again so grateful to all of you please keep being yourselves please keep like you know advancing your spiritual journey um definitely helps uplift you know the earth's vibration in general so yeah okay let's go ahead and pick the cards pile two sorry i talk so much wow oh my gosh the sun what a great way to start off the reading okay we got the moon in reverse uh we got the emperor uh we got let's see ace of pentacles and we got the knight of cups this is so beautiful wow okay um so many major arcana cards here okay we got leo energy here Pisces energy here, Aries energy here, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, also Earthy energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I know that's a lot of signs, but like I feel like the major arcanas, you know, kind of um speak to the signs a little bit more. But I always say it has more to do with the messages it 
attributed with those signs okay like the traits that are associated with those signs more than anything else but yeah okay let's get started okay we got the sun and the moon okay very interesting let's talk about the sun first so with the sun card okay your person really thinks about all the positive like fun times that you had together okay your person has so much love for you and i say that with, with sincerity because this is associated with leo which is the fifth house of like passion love romance joy okay they really really do miss your personality okay that energy that you gave off your aura your vibes i feel like for a lot of you guys you know your solar plexus chakra could really be shining quite a bit you know your solar plexus is all about like self-confidence self-love i do feel like a lot of you guys have been going through some sort of like energetic upgrade and this person has really been feeling that and yeah they've really been feeling your energy and maybe if you've been feeling their energy that's because you both are thinking about one another um i totally got that with the moon card this is associated with pisces which is associated with like you know neptune the crown chakra which all have to do with like you know psychic connections maybe connecting in another realm like you know i do feel like you are already connected in another like you know dimension like maybe you're already together in the 5d like laughing at the 3d yeah but with the moon like you know this in reverse like um this is actually a really good thing because like the moon upright sometimes means like hanky panky going on or being deceptive but like with the moon in reverse you know that sort of means the opposite i do feel like if this person was being deceptive in some way or they did something that didn't serve this connection they're definitely changing okay they're definitely healing they're definitely trying to be a better version of themselves um I just feel like, you know, this person is even starting to see like their um, like true potential as well. I feel like maybe this person could have been a little bit insecure. Like, you know, I say that because like reverse, like you see this panther here, right? But like upright, there's like this little cat here. So it's like this person is finally just like becoming like the better, more stronger version of themselves. I feel like maybe this person is exercising their solar plexus chakra at the time too. Because I feel like yours definitely could be more activated than theirs. Like, you know, they just think very highly of you, okay? Like they just, again, love being around you. You're so peaceful to be with. You guys vibed really well. You did connect on like every single level, okay? Like with the moon that has to do with like emotions, feelings, um, and the sun that has to do with like passion, romance. So like this connection literally has everything thing that it needs to be like you know something good that will withstand the test of time like something long lasting yeah and i also feel like with this emperor card you know this person's really serious about you okay like this is someone who's very loyal someone who's very like you know serious about like a lot of things in life like if we think of an actual emperor you know how it rule, they rule the kingdom right like that's a pretty big priority to them so i do feel like they do care a lot about like their material life their work life but it's like they also like you know um want to treat like their empress you know really well as well because like my point is like this person has understood how to balance both aspects of their life like you know love and career um or like they're definitely learning to do that i just feel like this person's like gaining mental clarity um about like you know just a lot of things in their life like they really are like kind of shedding their shadow self or like working on their shadow self they've really been working on their spiritual development and growth and even like material and career development i do feel like this person really cares about that maybe they even have to step back to kind of focus on that but with this emperor like you know this is kind of the opposite of two of pentacles two of pentacles usually represent someone who has a hard time balancing love and life and maybe or like sorry life in terms of like love and career and maybe they have to choose one over the other and yeah with the emperor card like this person just also really um like wants to show you off okay i feel like yeah we're getting like aries vibes here like ascendant okay ascendant is all about like um you know the rising sign first of all i feel like this person really cares about how you view them okay your rising sign um or like your first house is literally about like you know how you appear to other people um yeah so what else are we getting here yeah this person really really just wants your validation you know i, I mean i'm really getting like that message pretty strongly like they really care about how you view them they really care about like how you feel about them too like maybe they're even a little bit like you know like what you call they kind of just don't really know where your head's at i think like especially with this moon reverse like i do feel like you are connected like spiritually so maybe like your energies your higher selves are definitely connected but in terms of your material self like maybe they just have no idea where you're at okay and like i even feel like they think that like you have a lot of options okay because you have a lot of people that truly just love being around you you are so amazing to be with like you know you have this amazing personality you're so well-rounded um you're really like just you just embody good vibes you radiate good energy 
And um, I also feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, you know, um, okay, let's talk about the Emperor. Yeah, they really want to show you off. I'm seeing something about social media. Like they really want to like, you know, um, make like a post about you or something like that. Like I, they just, you know, I feel like they're also like talking about you to their friends and family. Like, you know, maybe if they didn't do that in the past or in your connection, they definitely are now and in a really good way. And I even feel like maybe for some of you guys, their friends and family like ask about you, like, oh, what happened to this person? Like, um, you were such a good influence on them, you know, in a lot of different ways. Yeah. And then we also got the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is about building something with you because this is all about like steady stable solid growth and this person is serious about um wanting to offer you something very stable and committed okay like even more than the other pals i feel like this person is like really been focused on working on themselves and they're really serious about like you know advancing in every single way like advancing holistically and i also feel like this person has to give you a message about how they feel about you or actually not even a message more like a love offer okay knights have to do with like offers okay like offering and cops have to do with like relationships feelings emotions so this person wants to extend you an offer of love and especially like you know do so in a way where like you know they lay a strong foundation for really building and growing with you because that's how serious they are about you okay we're getting a lot of like just serious vibes from this like emperor okay the emperor is someone who is like really serious about like everything in their life like you know um like their career the person that they're with like you know they're empress and like you know they definitely see you as like a good counterpart for like each other like they felt like you um maybe until you didn't vibe energetically until then like you you did pretty oh my gosh you did get along pretty well okay you did vibe energetically until like maybe someone um you had to kind of like retreat to like maybe focus on themselves but like still like you're around the same like um level vibrationally i feel like maybe you could even be vibrating higher than them or be farther ahead in your spiritual journey because like i feel like you represent the sun and they could represent the moon or something like that like you know especially moon in reverse like they do feel very deeply for you with with the moon as well okay this is all about like your feelings and hidden feelings and even like uh, kind of like deception okay the moon upright is about deception so i do feel like they were being deceptive about their true feelings for you and how deeply they actually felt for you but with this reversed and you know with the knight of cups literally at the end of like you know the tarot card section of your reading like they really want to be vocal with you about how much you mean to them and how much they care about you and just you know the significance of this relationship and like the emotions you literally stirred up within them there's so much that they really want to tell you there's so much that they really want to offer you as well and i just yeah like you know with these two cards they want to like treat you okay like they want to spoil you they want to take you out to like bougie dinners like again they really want you to see them as like you know someone who's like um like you know if you're asking about a divine masculine like they really want you to see that they are like pretty masculine like they can take care of you and things like that although they know that you don't mean that because you are your own person you're very independent you know how to take care of yourself you are also you know you probably are very successful and abundant already or or, you know you're definitely on the way to that like you know they know that but i do feel like for this person like maybe wanting to take care of someone or like showing people that they are stable and secure like you know it's a big deal to them and they really do want you to see them as someone who you know embodies those qualities like oh yeah they can provide for you like you know they're also like you know um their own like person like i feel like this person really admires your individualism like yeah, you are very individualistic. And this person really admires your independence and everything that you've done in life. And like, that's why they see you as a really good counterpart. It's like, you do vibe together really well, but it's like at the end of the day, you are your own people. And it's like, you know, um, your person is really attracted to, you know, the fact that like you have your own things going on. I feel like a lot of you guys are into your own hobbies, like, you know, um, or you have a lot of different hobbies. Like there's a lot of things that you're doing to just like expand yourself, you know, learn, like, you know, grow in a lot of different ways. So yeah, um, really, really great messages here. Let's go ahead and pick some cards from the Moonology deck. Um, these cards are so mini, like these cards are really small. I'm literally using the mini like everyday witch tarot deck. I really fall in love with this deck and mini cards in general. So these Moonology cards will look so big. Yeah. You go, you're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, again, if you are working towards something, like I do feel like you guys are very hard workers, you know, even with this emperor, like you will also care a lot about your work and your financial prospects and, you know, career life and things like that. You are very close to achieving your goal. And I also feel like so is this person. Okay. This person also sees you as their goal. Like they see you as their end game for a lot of you guys. And it's like they're really close to coming back to you. I feel like more than any other pal so far, like I've only filmed pal one, you know, they are really serious about making you a love offer and having something steady and stable with you. But they do kind of have to like, you know, 
um, reach their own goals before they can come forward like they do have goals for themselves in terms of you know everything like I feel like you know maybe this person is really focused on even like maybe mental health like they're trying to become a little bit more confident again maybe they're working on their solar plexus chakra and they're also working on their like financial monetary goals yeah okay we also got luck is on your side okay new moon and Sagittarius maybe someone could be a Sagittarius we are getting that energy like this time around luck will really be on your side okay like when this person comes back and I really do see there's a huge chance of that happening this relationship is going to work out for you and you know Sagittarius is associated with Jupiter which is a planet of expansion so I even feel like a lot of people are going to you know um or sorry I feel like this person wants to take things to the next level with you okay they want to expand this connection they want to like um really just like express their love to you okay like they um they care about you so much like even with this rose quartz they feel for you so deeply they also think you're very beautiful okay very attractive the rose you know rose quartz does have to do with beauty um but it's like this time around luck will be on your side you know they even want to like commit to you again they care a lot about like laying a strong foundation for this connection and then like you know offer you something okay like literally make you a love offering it might go a little bit slow um but it's like it'll be worth it in the end because um it's like, you know, that that's a good thing. That shows that this person really cares about you. Um, it, it won't necessarily feel slow, okay? But may, even if it has in the past, it's just like maybe, you know, this person really needs time to kind of like um, face their own emotions, okay? Like just the fact that this moon card showed up, even though it's in reverse, like, you know, the moon reflects light off of the sun, which is like, which makes it like a reflective, you know, kind of thing in the sky. So they are doing a lot of like self-reflection as well. And, um, you know, they've really been reflecting about you and the significance of this connection to them. and um they've realized like just how great and important you are and like they really want you in their life yeah i'm definitely seeing something about like leo season pisces season aries season sagittarius season even like um these are earth seasons so taurus virgo capricorn uh, maybe someone could be those signs or like maybe something could be happening in those seasons but especially the major icon of it like leo pisces um and you know sagittarius here with the oracle card aries yeah or something could have happened during those seasons maybe you met during those seasons but those signs are just popping out quite a bit yeah um, let's go and pick some cards from the numinous deck. Um, ooh, we got fourth house roots. Yeah, I feel like this person is really like serious about establishing their own roots. Okay, establishing their own independence, establishing their own selves. Okay, like they care about again, like laying a strong foundation in this connection with you, but they also have to feel solid and secure within themselves. I also feel like this person thinks they're very comforting to be around. They see you as home. Okay, I even feel like you know maybe you have been connected in like a past life or something. Like something about you feels really familiar to them. Maybe even vice versa. Uh, or maybe you met them in your hometown or like they want to travel to your home hometown or something like that okay or um yeah or like maybe spend a lot of time like indoors or something but they just feel really comfortable around you okay and like we're getting cancer energy so maybe someone could be a cancer sun moon rising venus yeah we also got conjunction empowerment this totally clarifies what i said about like you know this person um what do you call like feeling like you were better together like you know they they just saw you as like you know really great counterpart like they see you as the empress to their emperor or the emperor to their empress they just thought you vibed really well um they do think very highly of you they respect you so much and like that's why they're just like you know what like i want to be qualified enough to be in this person's life but they think that like you know if you join forces you know synergize with one another like you'd be better like together like basically like you know how some people like really like like they're really happy when they're in a relationship especially with that right person like that's exactly how they feel about you okay yeah really beautiful energy here um let's go ahead and pick some cards from the for my deck enchanted forest fairy just to get more messages yeah we got i'm so sorry for everything i put you through it hurts me more than it hurts you yeah seriously with the moon card you know i do feel like if they have pulled some sort of like you know hanky panky or like something that they do that didn't you know um that wasn't really the best thing for them to do and this isn't something i already don't know about like i feel like the minute i said that like whatever happened like it like you know came to your mind like they do want to apologize for that okay i do feel like they've been gaining again mental clarity about their actions and like you know what's okay and what's not okay and, like it was never done on purpose i just feel like maybe this person could even have like emotional baggage or like you know maybe like they haven't really been around um like the best people in the past or like they didn't feel like it was okay to like really express themselves so maybe they would um you know just do other things to kind of what do you call you know 
avoid expressing their true feelings, like, you know, self-defense, self-defense mechanisms. Like sometimes, you know, people play games because they don't want to like get hurt or whatever, something like that. Okay. But I, I'm not necessarily saying they did that, but they are very sorry for everything that they did that didn't serve this connection or serve you. It really does hurt them quite a lot. Okay. Like it was never done on purpose. So yeah, they'll say I'm terrified to lose you. I'm coming back if you'll take me. Yeah. I feel like it's really hitting this person now more than ever, pal, too, that like they could lose you forever if they don't act up and improve themselves and offer you something stable, which is why they're taking some time but like it'll be good for the long run because again this is all about luck is on your side right so like no matter what happens it like it will be good like this will be a good connection they really are so motivated about you they really want to like put in the work for this connection and like they're really working on becoming the better version of themselves before they can come back yeah okay so let's go ahead and pick some cards from the romance oracle deck i love all the colors that we have here so beautiful um yeah we got you deserve love you are lovable yeah so for a lot of you guys like you know um i do feel like you know some of you guys i did channel like kind of hurt like you know feeling a little bit like down and things um like don't worry too much you are deserving of love your love life will work out okay you will have a partner in this lifetime whether it be them or someone else but i do feel like there's a really good chance it could be them okay i really do see them coming um towards you and um you know being in the type of relationship that you deserve yeah but we also did get love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive yeah you know this is about like um empowering yourself okay feeling empowered steady stable within themselves i feel like this person is putting in energetic work and so have you i do feel like you are the kind of people that practice like you know manifesting self-love affirmation so if that is something that you're doing keep doing that if not that'll really pay it off like you know i even feel like a lot of you guys you know you have been working on your solar plexus chakra that's something that i um got in the beginning but like this is you know it's kind of like a lifelong thing like it's kind of like a lifelong homework assignment like you know because it's your life right like it's like uh work on loving yourself work on setting your boundaries i really feel like the more you yeah just work on self-love and things like that i know it sounds super cliche but trust me it works like i've seen it work like firsthand and you know with other people experiences like they got the person on their mind back and like they're happy they're happier now than ever okay they're better and stronger than before so that is something that i'm seeing i even feel like your person's also working on loving themselves and like you know getting over insecurities and things like that because you know they know that you're deserving of the absolute best and you know you also have to know that you're deserving of the absolute best so that's just some advice that i'm seeing from this from spirit okay things will work out don't worry too much the universe has your back the universe has your back trust yourself trust your instincts and yeah um you are due for a great great life ahead of you so yeah that is what we got for you pal too i really hope that this reading helped i hope that this reading resonated um if this pile didn't resonate you can of course go ahead and pick another pile or another reading altogether i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth readings that cater to your personal questions so if you do want you know specific questions answered be sure to check out the description box below as well as my comment in the comment section to sign up for that and yeah i'll end the reading right here thank you so much pal too love and light hi there pal three welcome to your reading so you all picked this beautiful emerald so i just wanted to quickly go over the properties of emerald um i purposely decided to like leave that you know um out of the intros because I wanted people just to pick based on like, you know, their intuition and things like that. But emeralds are known to heal both like emotional love and the physical heart. It's really good for your heart chakra. Um, it's also good for healing like, you know, negative emotions. Like if you have anything like, you know, that you kind of need to release or, you know, get rid of like, you know, limiting beliefs and things like that. It's really good for that. Yeah. I believe it's also good for like, you know, prosperity and abundance and success, you know, anything with green usually is but um yeah this is really good for your heart chakra so i do feel like maybe you know, if a lot of you guys are hurting or need some sort of like you know spiritual motivation you have come to the right place okay we have a great reading ahead of you so um yeah let's go ahead and pick the piles to see what your person is currently thinking and feeling during this no contact situation so or very little contact situation yeah also i'm not really reading reversal so if they do come out reverse like don't worry too much about that i think i only read like one reversal in one of the piles today but um yeah uh let's go ahead and see what your person has to say to you also i just want to express gratitude like thank you so much for being here leaving behind positive comments on my channel it really means so much to me the fact that i'm even making like one person's day or helping one person is like more than enough for me okay so thank you so much you know if you haven't already please be sure to like comment subscribe if you find values out of my videos um so that you know more people can like reach it and like the whole point is to like just uplift you know the collective energy the collective vibration so yeah um um, let's go ahead and see what these cards have to say Ooh, we got the knight of cups okay a love offering that needs to be made the chariot okay this person really wants to come forward oh my gosh temperance 
six of swords ace of swords oh my gosh property oh my gosh okay i feel like more than any other pal so far and i've only like filmed her one to this point this person is gonna come towards you no doubt about it okay not no ifs and or buts like this person is for sure making their way towards you they cannot stand to live without you um they have such such deep feelings for you okay we're getting cancer energy sagittarius energy sun moon rising venus we're also getting aries libra aquarius again sun moon rising venus or seventh house which is a house of love and relationships so maybe someone could have these signs but if not it, it, i always say it's more about the attributes associated with these signs rather than the actual signs themselves but if someone's connection does have these signs this could be confirmation that this is your reading but yeah oh my gosh okay let's let's start off from the beginning okay i'm super excited like this is one of like the best like readings i've done today so um we got knight of cups so there's a lot that your person wants to get off their chest there's a lot that this person wants to come forward and offer you okay knight is all about offerings and cups have to do with like feelings and emotions and relationships so this person literally wants to make you a love offer and this chariot could not clarify this card anymore like any better because the chariot is all about victory success like winning you over okay so i do feel like this person really wants to win you back like they've <laughs> for whatever reason i channeled them literally googling like how to get my ex back how to win them over how to like you know like converse with them or like how to like you know just appeal to them or something like that like i literally like you know i'm sure they're getting ads on like relationship like you know coaches and things like that seriously oh my gosh this person is so serious about you okay we are getting cancer energy so maybe someone could be can a cancer you know have cancer in their big three or seventh house but you know just um the traits is attributed with cancers is that they never get over their exes okay like i mean they do eventually but like it's like they just have feelings for you they kind of stay stuck in the past they're really nostalgic for you they're really nostalgic for this connection you mean a lot to them and like i feel like they're always going to have a special place you're always going to have a special place in their heart, okay? They do have a soft spot for you. They really do love you so much. Like, they'll pretty much always have feelings for you, pal. Three. Oh my gosh, okay? I really do feel like someone's heart chakra is definitely being, like, activated, like, you know, open more, like, healed. I feel like their heart chakra for you is really, really strong. Like, they feel so deeply for you, okay? And I'm also seeing that they are very serious about making sure that this connection is really fair to you, really balanced. Um, temperance is all about, yeah, literally just balance. I feel like you guys balanced each other out pretty well um you um made a good pair i feel like for a lot of you guys this wasn't necessarily something that was like super toxic or anything like even if there were some like words exchanged or fights or whatever which is you know normal in every connection like this person like kind of doesn't really care about that they only think about the good times more than the negative times and i just yeah this person thinks you guys balanced each other out really well you complimented one another really well as you can see there's two chalices here with one chalice chalice there's like water spewing out the other one has fire so you know water represents emotion so yeah maybe someone's connection could even be like a fire sign or water sign or something like that but um but the water represents emotion like feelings the depth of feelings and this fire represents like passion love romance joy so this connection has everything okay there's love here there's passion here like they just really miss being around you being with you they thought you were just such a great person to be around um yeah and with the six of swords they really want to make their like way towards you pal three okay i'm sorry if i said another pal before but like okay yeah they are serious about like coming towards you this is all about like movement travel things happening so there's a lot happening behind the scenes that you don't even know but it's gonna manifest in real life okay so um i feel like spiritually this has re like really taken off okay your spirit guides your higher selves your angels like you know they kind of even want this to happen and i feel like your higher selves are pretty much already connected now i'm definitely getting gemini energy from this card maybe someone could be a gemini sun moon rising venus i just feel like there's so much that they want want to get off their chest okay and since this clarifies a temperance card they really just want to tell you how much they love being with you how amazing this connection is how good they feel being around you how um you know just of a like just how well-rounded you are i feel like yeah for a lot of you guys they really like how balanced you are within yourselves you're very secure and stable within yourselves i'm so sorry if there's some background noise like there's someone out there that's like talking but um yeah and that's the thing like talking communication like this person really wants to communicate with you yeah we're definitely getting like air sign energy like maybe aquarius with this um they just want to like speak their truth okay the ace of swords is also about like seeking the truth like they've seek the truth they're still doing it and now they just want to speak their truth and their truth is that they really freaking love you okay they really want to be with you they're like literally thinking about ways to like win you over like you know how like sometimes in like movies like <laughs> like people like write on whiteboards like okay what's my plan to do this or whatever or like yeah like 
I, I seriously feel like they're like literally looking up ways to like come back and like they're thinking about what they would say to you okay like they're thinking about the right words to say to you because they love you so much they miss you so much they're so into you like they have not felt this way about anyone in a long time that is something that i'm seeing okay like, i feel like maybe before you like they could have just been with people yeah casually dating whatever like they just didn't feel for them as strongly as they felt for you and like they, it's kind of like a foreign feeling or something like you know or the way that they felt about you is just something that they have not felt before okay like this knight of cups seriously all this water energy we have going on here they feel for you so deeply and maybe even deeper than they expected to because it's like it really takes them a special person it really takes a special person for them to feel the way that they do like they don't just give their heart out to anyone like even with this cancer energy it's like you know cancers are known to be like kind of emotional like they simp over people they're down bad and things like that but it's like even with them it takes like you know again they don't have to be cancer like, no one necessarily has to be cancer or have their placements but it still takes that one special person to like really grasp a hold of their heart which you definitely did okay like they seriously miss you so much they just love being around you they love um like conversing with you I feel like you guys had really good conversation like you can even see with the six of swords there's a lot of blue energy here and blue is associated with the throat chakra so they really want to come forward and communicate you know speak their truth be more vocal about their feelings for you and like just how deep their feelings for you actually go so yeah um just really positive energy here they they really do care about you so so much they'll always care about you they, they deeply care about you they deeply love you their feelings for you go a lot deeper than maybe they can even like show right now because it's even something that they can't fathom like you know because they just have not felt this way in a while if ever so yeah wow okay like the intensity of this reading you guys is really like dawning upon me like i'm even getting really emotional reading this so yeah let's go ahead and pick a couple more tarot cards um from the everyday witch tarot deck yeah we got three of cups yeah i feel like this person you know thinks you're really like fun to be around you're really jovial light-hearted you know um good spirited like a lot of people just love being around you i even feel like maybe you guys have a lot of like you know like you're from a tight-knit community you just have a lot of friends that you know really genuinely care about you or like you make friends pretty easily or i'm even seeing maybe you could have met this person at, at a party or through mutual friends or something like that that doesn't necessarily have to like um what do you call resonate because i'm also seeing like with a sword sign sometimes that does have to do with like communication and media maybe you could have even met on a dating app i'm even seeing maybe for some of you guys there could have been a third party um this isn't something you already don't know about but if there was like a third party on their side or something like they don't really care about them as much as you or like maybe you're the one that had a third party on your side and maybe this person got a little bit insecure about that like because they know that like again you're just this like amazing positive bright cherry person you probably have a lot of people that are into you so yeah okay let's pick some more cards oh we got the moon yeah so i do feel like this person has been gaining a lot of like mental clarity about you you know um insight about the depth of this connection and what you really mean to them we're getting pisces energy here so maybe someone could be a pisces sun moon rising venus or seventh house house of love and relationships um and with this moon you know i do feel like they this does represent a deception so i do feel like they were being deceptive deceptive of their feelings in the sense that they felt a lot more for you than maybe they let on yeah okay we also got the four of cups yeah they just feel really bored without you around okay like just look at this person like he's just so bored he's just like looking at the table like you know not even like accepting the other cup that's being offered i just feel like they just don't feel fulfilled without you i feel like this connection was very emotionally fulfilling for you um or for them okay for the both of you yeah and we got the emperor yeah we got aries energy here maybe someone could be an aries the moon rising venus um they're really serious about you okay like they really want to like wife you up like they see you as a queen or empress or you know king or emperor um and they even want to like show you off to their friends i definitely do feel like they talk a, they talk about you quite a lot to their friends and like they just want to show you off okay like kind of like in a trophy wife but like not like the, the concept anyway but like you know they just want to show you off like they just like love being around you they just love being seen with you like they think like you are literally a prize and they're really lucky to be with you yeah really beautiful energy here um let's go ahead and pick some cards from the moonology deck just to see what other messages we have here um ooh, we got luck is on your side so yeah this time around i feel like you know things will work out okay things will work out for the better we're also getting sagittarius energy maybe someone could be a sagittarius maybe if this has been kind of like an in and out connection or something like that like this time they're here to stay for 
for good, okay? They want something long-lasting and even, like, permanent with you, even with the chariot, you know, cancer energy, Pisces energy. Like, they love being with people for the long run, yeah. And we also got, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries, yeah. Again, we got Aries, yeah. Maybe someone could be in Aries, someone rising Venus, but they are going to be taking action towards you if you have been waiting on them. Like, seriously, this pile, this, um, yeah, pile three, like, I, I cannot, like, express, like, how serious they are about you you know that, that's such a weird way of saying like oh my gosh like i just meant like this is literally the pile of action like they really want to come forward and you know take action like win you over win you back um and it's like this is like literally the action pile like more than any other pile it's like they're not just gonna talk the talk but walk the walk and they're like pretty serious about you as well and like they really are going to come forward and again like just speak their mind be verbally like you know expressive like communicate with you yeah um that's just such beautiful energy here like i really love that they're taking action like maybe they are channeling like the more fiery aspects of their chart and like going you know going forward going towards because like everyone has like every single you know sign in their chart in some way like in like even if you don't have the actual signs like you know those house placements and it's like um they've been doing a lot of thinking maybe they've been like channeling like the air aspects of their sign they've been getting mental clarity about this connection um now they're channeling like the fire aspects of their signs and like really coming towards you and like you know they're the water aspects have always, always been there they're really emotional um and like they've always felt really deeply for you but like now they're gonna go forth and like communicate that which is really beautiful yeah okay so let's go ahead and pick some cards from the romance oracle deck um we've got finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now yeah maybe this person did have to retreat to kind of focus on their finances like they weren't really where they wanted to be in life uh, i do care like this person wants to be in something that like really fulfills them emotionally like maybe they have like scorpio in their sixth house or something like that like you know they want to feel like whatever they're doing is actually impactful okay like i even feel like maybe this is the kind of person like who you know like they care about like yeah just making an impact you know being in something that does pay off financially yes but something that they're actually passionate about and i feel like maybe they're they really look up to you because they feel like whatever you're doing like you know you're doing really well in your i feel like finance or career life or like you're in something that you are pretty passionate about or something that you at least like doing or maybe you are the kind of people that like even if you're not in something that like truly like you know fulfills you like maybe let's say you have like a corporate tech job or finance job like you know with numbers how much can you get fulfilled with that you always find some way to do something um, on the side like you know side hop si side hobbies side hustles that do emotionally like satisfy you but basically you're doing really well in your career life your finance life your material life and they really look to you as inspiration yeah that's got very soon okay i do feel like this person is going to reach out to you sooner than later i feel like maybe a lot of you guys could be in this like stagnant waiting energy or you felt like things have been kind of slower stagnant but it's just going to pick up with all this fire energy that we have here and it's going to feel more balanced than ever with this temperance as well um this is all about clearly deciding what you want so that it comes to you now a lot of the times you know sometimes people get disappointed in love because they just don't know what they want like you know if you're not dating to marry unless you are someone who just likes dating around for fun like you kind of are gonna you know go through some like hard times in your love life so this is about like clearly deciding what is what it is that you want with this person i feel like this person already knows what they want with you i feel like for a lot of you guys they want something long-term stable something that can really withstand the test of time you know for you guys it's up to you to decide like is this person you know marriage material like are you do you even want to marry this person i feel like this person maybe does want to wife you up okay like they really felt like you made a really good pair with the temperance being the center of your reading and they really want to come towards you i feel like they even really enjoy the chase they just like want to chase after you and like win you over win you back um with the chariot energy as well um and this time around they are really like serious about making sure that things are fair to you like even with all this like air energy this is all about like you know um like you know rationality being fair being balanced and things like that so um they, they care about you so much that they really want to work on themselves so that you know they feel secure and stable enough within themselves so that they can offer you something solid and steady and stable but they really do care about you pal through they are going to make a move they are going to hit you up you are definitely going to be getting communication from this person surefire like you know that's with the last two cards you know on the first half um sorry the first like line that we have here with the six of swords ace of swords movement is happening communication is definitely happening as well and yeah okay so um that is what we got for you pal three i really hope that this helped i really hope that this pal resonated if this pal didn't resonate you can of course go ahead and pick another pile um or another reading altogether. i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth readings so if you do want personal questions answered you know like specific questions be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one and yeah i will end the reading right here pal three love and light hi pal four welcome to your reading so you all picked the onyx as i was told this is called okay um it's spelled o-n-y-x this is really good for like 
promotes strength. It promotes like vigor, steadfastness, stamina. It's good for like self-confidence. It helps you to be at ease in your surroundings. It's also good for like getting rid of like grief, enhances like self-control, like emotional controls. And it also is good for like wise decision making, like, you know, making good, like make good decisions and um, like, also, like, maybe not, you know, absorbing, like, negative energies. I feel like usually, like, black um, crystals are really good because it helps, like, especially, like, tourmaline and things like that. It absorbs the negative energy into that. So it's, like, rather than into you or something like that. But, yeah, um, this is what that crystal stands for. Like, I purposely didn't really talk about the crystals in the beginning, like, in the intro because um, I kind of just wanted people to be, pick pile. Oh, my gosh. Pick piles based on like you know their intuition um rather than like what the crystal meanings are um but yeah um i just quickly wanted to go over that since some of you guys are curious what these crystals are and what they mean so yeah now let's go ahead and pick some cards to see what your person is currently thinking and feeling about you in this no contact situation so yeah as i shuffle the cards i do want to express gratitude to all of you that have been watching my videos um you know like commenting on them liking them like thank you so much for your comments like honestly those comments make my day more than you know i get so many positive comments about like people you know gaining some value out of like you know this video or like them making their day or like saying things like oh my gosh like this is a beautiful reading like thank you so much like even just that means so much to me so thank you so much you know if you do find value value out of my videos and it uplifts you in some way i would really appreciate it if you could um you know like share comment subscribe so that it reaches more people because even the whole point of this channel and just doing tarot at least for me personally is to send energetic empowering messages that uplift people so again thank you so much i am forever grateful for you i'm making it a thing to express gratitude in every video so yeah okay now let's go ahead and uncover these beautiful cards this is the gilded tarot if you are wondering that these are the mini cards so yeah let's see what your person is feeling okay i feel like this person is really bored without you okay like this person um <sighs> Since this is like a no contact reading, ever since you separated, like their life just has not been the same. I also feel like they have been feeling and still currently do, you know, feel a little bit like withdrawn, like disconnected from life in general. Um, you know, they really just don't feel that like motivated to do anything okay it's interesting because the onyx actually is associated with the root chakra and i just feel like maybe this root chakra this person's root chakra isn't really as strong as yours i just feel like maybe in general they just don't feel that like secure or stable within themselves but especially since this connection ended like i even feel like you guys were their root or their rock you guys helped them in a lot of different ways like you were very motivational i feel like you know they really got a lot of like um like they drew a lot of inspiration from you. They really liked who you were as people, like everything that you um, did for yourself. Like, you know, like this isn't even something that you necessarily had to try to do, but I just feel like a lot of people draw inspiration from you and everything that you're doing with your life. And I just feel like this person, you know, um, they kind of saw you as like a role model. And like ever since, like, you know, you guys um, kind of separated or went into this no contact, very little contact, they're just like, okay, now what do I do with my life? Like, this is kind of boring. Like, you know, I even feel like maybe they're like lacking a role model or something like that. Um, I'm also seeing that like their friends and families sometimes ask about you. They're just like, how how's this person doing? Because like you were a really good impact on their life. Okay. I even feel like maybe, yeah, kind of similar to I think pile two or something like that. But you helped them sort of get out of some kind of funk. Like I just feel like maybe they when you met them, they could have been going through something or maybe they just kind of didn't really believe in anything or like they were just, yeah, just very emotionally disconnected and like withdrawn. But like with you, they felt something and that was like really big. They're just like, oh my gosh, this person actually makes me feel something. It's been a while since I felt this way about someone. And they just really miss the good vibes that you bought into their life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you embody like, you know, positive energy. Like, you know, you're also very vigorous. I feel like a lot of you guys are very like, you know, um, self-confident or at least working on your self-confidence. Like, you know, um, everyone gets insecure from time to time, but it's just like you are just someone who um, this stone literally like the definition or like, you know, property associated with the stone is that it helps you to be at ease in your surroundings. I just feel like a lot of people feel really good being around you. They feel at ease being around you. They feel like you're very easy to talk to, easy to get along with. I feel like this person definitely just really, um, you know, vibe with you really well. And I feel like it's kind of rare for this person to really vibe with someone 
and like the fact that they vib- vibed with you like they definitely think you are one of a kind they think you are so just unique and extraordinary and um they just are really grateful that they met someone like you in this lifetime so yeah um let's see what other cards we have here Ooh, we have the knight of wands yeah this person is really passionate about you i even feel like they're in this energy of really wanting to win you back like win you over like this is so positive okay i'm actually getting like so excited i feel like this reading just got like riled up like you know um great things are really happening um like uh, things are definitely happening behind the scenes okay movement is happening so even if you feel like your 3d isn't showing that much movement it is happening in the 5d okay you are connected in like other realms i feel like this person just has so much that they want to get off their chest so much that they want to offer you um they just want to come at you like full force and like you know the knight of wands like think of like knight in shining armor like that's kind of what they want to be with you that's kind of what they want you to see them as as well um i'm getting like aries leo sagittarius energy um yeah i know the four of cups i'm getting like cancer energy probably yeah i just feel like um you know they just have a hard time like they're having a really hard time getting over you because i did sort of like channel cancer energy and regardless of whether or not someone is a cancer um you know someone could have cancer in their sun moon rising venus or seventh house which is a house of love and relationships but i always say it has more to do with the you know attributes associated with the signs rather than the actual signs themselves but if the signs do resonate this could be confirmation that this is your reading but the point that i'm trying to make is that you know um cancers kind of have a hard time getting over people in their past okay they kind of live in the past they're really nostalgic and that's exactly how they're feeling about you okay like that energy sort of is um you know something that they're giving off right now and like they are really passionate about you i'm not gonna lie they definitely do think about like the intimate times that you had together like you know in that sense like i'm freaky with you but um they, their emotions for you go really deep and i just feel like again like they sort of feel kind of like lackluster even like bored now that this connection is like going through this like no you know no contact separation they really do miss you so much they just miss like again like how vigorous you were how much energy the positive energy you brought into their life maybe some of you guys could even have fire in your chart some moon rising venus um maybe like leo or sagittarius or something like that yeah um let's go ahead and pick some more cards oh we got the two of swords yes i do feel like this person could be feeling a little bit like indecisive about what to do it's like you know like i'm just seeing there's like conflict between their heart and mind two of swords actually does have to do with like libra like especially like full moon and libra and libras are known to be a little bit indecisive like all the libra like major arcana cards if you notice actually have scales so it's like you know a little bit of indecision they're like balancing like the two options like what should they do like you know mind versus heart um you know at the one on the one hand they feel really passionate they feel really like you know um they really do care about you so much but i also just feel like maybe they're going through some sort of like they have some sort of you know emotional baggage or something from the past that they really need to deal with um with this four of cups especially being in the first position um they have to like really what do you call deal with something from the past that's kind of been dawning upon them that may have even like impacted this connection you know and it was never on purpose i just feel like they could have like i mentioned at the very beginning they could have been going through something or some sort of funk that just really um you know maybe made them not be like the best partner that i'm seeing that this person definitely could have treated you better like giving a little bit more i'm definitely seeing maybe for a lot of you guys you are the ones that you know kind of put in a little bit more effort and things like that but they did feel for you okay like they ended up really falling for you again i'm getting like leo energy like fifth house like you know of um which rules like passion love romance story they really do care about you okay they definitely do have a lot of love for you but yeah with this two of swords they're they're just kind of like you know at a limbo like you know stalemate or you know the way of like what no what am i saying like you know you know how like it's hard to make decisions or something like that like, they just kind of really don't know what to do with their life in general i just feel like they feel really lost in life in general they feel a little bit behind i just feel like they have so much that they need to like you know um deal with on an emotional level deal with within themselves you know this has to do with like um self-healing and self-work and self-love like i just feel like yeah i even channel the solar plexus chakra here so maybe they have to kind of work on that that has to do with like um self-confidence and um yeah maybe even just understanding themselves on a deeper level i feel like maybe they don't really know who you 
they are in the way that you do, you know who you are. I feel like you kind of have more of a better sense of who you are at least than maybe they do when this is just like a time of self-discovery for them. And I feel like maybe they could have been blinded to like, you know, a lot of different things in their life. But like, I, do, I also do feel like they are gaining mental clarity. Like if they were previously blinded, they are going ahead and like, you know, kind of thinking about things from a different perspective, you know, um, maybe even realizing like the depth of this connection and what it means to them. Like I'm seeing like maybe in the past they were kind of blinded to that like and like it only kind of took this no contact situation to realize what you really mean to them and what they're missing out on which you know sometimes that happens sometimes someone has to like lose everything to realize the importance and value of certain things and like they are definitely valuing you a lot more you know they did value you in the past okay but it's just like maybe their like emotions literally kind of like stop them from like maybe showing that just because they were going through so much within themselves but they are um realizing your worth like a lot more and like you know i'm even seeing maybe some of them you know they kind of for some of you guys they could have taken you for granted and like they're really regretting that they're really repenting that and they're just like no like let me make it up to this person like with the snyder wands they want to do like a complete like you know 180 and come forward and just like you know um like make things up to you like and I'm even seeing like something about like taking you out on like a date or like a passionate like you know like outing or something like that like maybe their love language could be like spending quality time or like gift giving maybe they even want to like spoil you a little bit or something like that yeah um that is what I'm getting with like the kind of like Leo energy that we have here but yeah let's go ahead and pick some more cards to see what else is going on oh my gosh we got six of swords I really do feel like this person has like made up their mind okay we had like a little bit of indecision going on here with the two of swords but now they're just like nope like I want to make a movement like I want to do something about this okay the six of swords is literally about movement action travel so I am seeing maybe some of you guys could be at a physical distance physical separation maybe they live in another city state town or even abroad or something like that but like they want to make their way towards you I mean like they literally want to come and see you and like even like win you over okay like I feel like there's been this sort of like back and forth like you know with this four of cups and you know it's kind of like a passion or what do you call passive card and this is an active card passive card active card love i feel like oh my gosh i just stuttered there a little bit like i even feel like maybe this person is a little bit nervous to communicate with you maybe they need to work on their throat chakra a little bit more too they definitely do need to work on their root chakra i just feel like they don't feel as stable or secure within themselves at least maybe not in the way that you do but it's like regardless they want to make they just want to make things work they want to come towards you no matter what like they really do care so much about you they care a lot about like you know um how you view them as well you know they, they don't want to like appear to be this four of cups in front of you this is someone who's kind of just like a bum like you know bumming around in life or whatever and like you know i'm not even trying to be mean but it's like they just don't want to appear that way so if they have kind of been that way i'm even seeing maybe your friends could have said like oh like what do you see in this person they're so mad like you know find someone like a little bit more passionate or something like that like i mean it's not something that they even like had control over i just feel like maybe they could have even had like mental health problems or like i mentioned some sort of emotional baggage that put them in like a funk or something like that and yeah um and it's like they're finally like you know they've made up their mind they're just like no I want to come towards this person like who cares like I want to make this work like maybe we can just like you know work on things together like in some other pals I feel like you know we get a lot of messages about like they want to heal within themselves they want to like you know um really like work on themselves individually like independently before they can come forward and really give something to someone else but in this pal it's just like why don't we just make this work together like you know that's what partners are for right to help lift one another up but you know and like they just you know they really want to be with you like they miss you so so much um but something that i am seeing is that like you know you should be protective of your energies and definitely set boundaries i feel like maybe in the past either if it's you know with this person or someone else you know you could have definitely attracted energy vampires because i do feel like for a lot of you guys you are very oh my god this card just like <laughs> Okay, I feel like this, there's a strong message from this card, so we'll see what it is, okay? This card, like, really wants to be, like, revealed, okay? So, um, we'll see what the ending, um, entails, but, like, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you know, you are very positive, um, you have this amazing aura and energy, and energy to you, and, like, maybe, like, some people really just, um, in the past could have, what do you call, like, siphoned off your energy a little bit so do be careful about again just making boundaries like preserving your energy um not like you know like your energy is valuable okay you are such valuable amazing like worthy human beings and like i do feel like maybe it's just advice from the spirit to be careful about like who you give it to um who you give it to yeah in general um 
yeah that, that was just like another spiritual download that i got here but yeah let's go ahead and see what this card says oh my gosh eight of pentacles yeah okay i really love the progression yeah so there was a little bit of like in and out here again like active versus passive card but this is like a, definitely an active card they really want to build and grow with you they've made up their mind like there's just so much about like um okay oh my gosh i said eight of pentacles sorry this is the eight of cups but still like this is a really positive card because with the eight of cups it's like they're turning their backs to like other options okay they just want you like they're out venturing for you like I, I feel like you, you're their end goal like they could have even had like other people that were like into them or something like that and same with you maybe you have like a not maybe I do feel like a lot of you guys have like a lot of admired people like hitting you up um but it's like you only want this person like this person only wants you and I really do see them like venturing towards you they're just like you know what like um now it's time to get out of this like sort of funk here like I want to make this way because this is the only person that makes me feel this way again yeah this is the eight of cups not pentacles so um yeah they, they have made up their mind like they really just want to come towards you like this eight of cups again like it's kind of similar to the four of cups like they feel kind of like lost and lonely without you they even felt a little bit disconnected from the world and from reality until they met you and like you made them feel things that they haven't in a very long time if ever so yeah really positive um really good things happening for this connection so oh my gosh i am so sorry about that I hope. yeah so really good things happening for this connection yeah let's go ahead and pick some cards from the numinous deck just for more clarity and insight we got fourth house roots okay we're getting cancer energy yeah so i'm definitely seeing a lot about four you know four is a good number for love and relationships it indicates stability like especially in love and relationships um like and just like something permanent and long lasting four is even like the number of like marriages like you know with the four of wands i even sort of channeled that here but i feel like this person is really comfortable around you they think they consider you to be home like they really feel at home with you i'm even seeing maybe some of you guys could have been connected in a past life there's just this sort of like element of familiarity and we also got aquarius the innovator yeah maybe someone could be an aquarius sun moon rising or venus um sun moon rising venus or seventh house which is the house of love and relationships or maybe someone has aquarius in their fourth house um again cancer aquarius energy here um but I, this just means independence okay this person really admires their individuality i feel like i even you know said that um I'm not sure if it was this pile or another pile, but like they just admire who you are. Like, you know, you are your own person. Yeah. Um, they feel like you're a really good partner, like you're really good to be in like a partnership with, but at the same time, like you know who you are, like you know, um, like you're the kind of person who doesn't like give off like, you know, needy energy or anything. Like you'll be fine on your own. And it's like that's a really great message because it's it's like this person knows that you don't need them, but you are choosing them. And that's like the biggest compliment of all. And they feel really lucky and honored that you feel that way about them okay like you're choosing to be with them whereas you have a lot of options even with this eight of cups okay so that's a really positive thing um what else i even feel like a lot of you guys are humanitarians um you like giving back to the community you're very like um you could even be like a little bit edgy maybe you have like a interesting like unique sense of like style or like um you're very fashionable i feel like this person did compliment you on like you know your fashion or your beauty or something like that but like they just really like um your mind and the way that like you know um you your perspective on certain things and yeah um okay so let's go ahead and pick some cards from the romance oracle deck uh we got keep an open mind your, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and ex expectations so maybe this person wasn't really your type um or maybe even vice versa but you ended up falling for one another anyways so yeah and i definitely do feel like this person is keeping an open mind about this relationship like they really want you and they really think that like you know you guys would vibe well together and like they really are holding out hopes of having a future with you yeah we gotta express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture like i feel like this person is gonna come forward and express their love okay especially with the six of swords like they are gonna come forward and like you know um communicate about something speak their truth and maybe even like tell you like that they've you know understood this connection they're just like oh my gosh like i felt like they either had or will have or in the process of having that moment where they're just like oh my gosh you know this connection means so much to me like you know i need to do something about this before i lose this person forever like i do feel like it's really hitting them now more than ever so yeah um that is what we got for you pal for i really hope that this reading helped i hope that this reading resonated you know take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality if yeah this pile didn't resonate you can of course go ahead and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth readings so if you do want personal questions answered you know some more clarity on your personal situation be sure to check out the description box below where I have a link that you can use to sign up for a personal reading. I also do have a free reading giveaway going on. So if you are interested in potentially winning one, also be sure to check out that same link. Everything's in there. 
And yeah, I will end the reading right here, Pal4. Thank you so much. Love and light.